Hello, everyone. My name is Don Kura Ching, instructor with Language Arts Department, and I'll be talking about my English 207 course for the Leeward Excellence in Online Teaching Award 2024. So uh, that's focused on content and activities. So for 4.1, the instructional materials contribute to the achievement of the learning outcomes and objectives. All of my course activities, um, assessments, readings are all aligned with the learning outcomes. Um, a good example of this is in week nine. So this is the second section of the course. In this section, students were transitioning from a traditional short story to a genre short story. Um, this one focused on horror. And because many students, or you know, a lot of my students, are not necessarily familiar with horror, especially with you know one of the most important conditions of horror, which is the process of building and maintaining suspense and mystery. Um, in this week, uh, students work on this activity I've created, the last line activity. So it's about 30 minutes long, this video, but it's really important to understand that in addition to a brief, about a minute, two minute introduction uh, to the genre, um, students are then walk through a set of five steps, five minutes for each step, in which they compose an entire short story within this 25 minute span of time. And it's really focused on the last line of the section of each of the sec different sections. And by going through this process, um, three of the LOs, LO1, Integrate the Main Concepts of Fiction, LO3, Applying the, the Writing Process, because this is a brainstorming, a pre-writing activity. But most importantly, LO4, Creating Original Short Stories Within Conditions, in this case, the horror condition or the horror genre, um, students are able to kind of get a sense of what that's all about. They then post it um, as part of uh, forum poster experiment number five um, in this particular case sharing it with their colleagues and kind of responding to their colleagues writing uh, 4.2 this is the learning activities are aligned with and promote the achievement of the learning objectives and outcomes so in the first three weeks of the course students are introduced to the basic elements of fiction characterization um, pov setting those kinds of things um, because perspective or POV, the way that a story is narrated, is one of the most important things. And it's the thing that students typically kind of encounter first um, in a story, in addition to character. Uh, one of the first experiments that they work on, and these experiments are all about allowing students to kind of flex their creativity in a kind of fun and creative way, um, is this POV activity. So what it asks them to do is ask them to choose, and it's based on John Gardner's The Art of Fiction or a, a prompt that's in his book, The Art of Fiction. Um, the first thing they do is they choose a POV, first person, second person, third person, and they describe an event, a scene in that perspective. After they're done with that, they then have to write the exact same scene, but from a different POV. And so because students, again, are just kind of, a lot of them are just getting their feet wet with, with creative writing, with fiction writing, what this allows them to do is to see, I'm sorry, my, the video is playing, but uh, it allows them to kind of see the benefits of the different perspectives and different POVs, um, as well as kind of the ways in which they, they work and kind of narrate a story a bit differently. And that's aligned with two of the LOs, LO1 and LO3, LO1 being integrated the main concepts of fiction. Again, this is about POV and LO3 apply the writing process. This allows them to kind of brainstorm um, ideas they might already have at this particular stage for their first short story. 4.3, the course is a variety of activities and resources that facilitate communication, collaboration, learning, and engagement. So we've already talked about kind of two activities and experiments that students work on in the class that, you know, relates to communication and collaboration, learning, and engagement. But one of my favorite um, is experiment number three. So at this particular stage in the course, students are working on their first short story in the class. And again, this is based on a, a, an experiment or exercise in John Gardner's The Art of Fiction. Um, so what they do is at this particular stage, they outline uh, the, that first short story. Again, this goes with kind of LO3, apply the writing process, as well as LO4, creating original short stories. Um, after they're done outlining, one of the things that really highlights and emphasizes that collaboration com component and that kind of learning and engagement is how students respond. Um, so in this particular case, students choose one peer's post. <clears throat> they then go on, look at that outline. They choose one of the scenes from that post, and then they have to write it as if it's their own story um, and then kind of explain their approach. So for the student who's responding, it kind of gets them to think outside the broad box, again, kind of flex that creativity and kind of imagination in a way that they might not be used to and kind of get them, you know, experimenting again with their creativity. 
But for the student whose you know, work is being responded to, it gives them another perspective or another way to view the story that they're currently working on. And so that's a really, I think, a, an important one in terms of 4.3. So last one, 4.4, uh, this is all about you know, making sure all of the work that's produced is um, you know, properly attributed and kind of return back to, to week nine. Um, all of the readings are um, either, you know, PDFs with proper attribution, or in this case, a lot of them are linked articles that are freely available online. This is really important for me because I want students seeing up-to-date um, resources and readings to kind of see what's actually currently happening within the genre. Um, like, for example, this one is one of my favorites written by uh, Brian Kamali Kawada, um, who is a Native Hawaiian author um, located here in Hawaii, and he kind of takes this myth and he or it was Mo'olelo, and he, he uses it in this uh, kind of experimenting with horror and with the genre. And it's really cool one for students to read in this national publication. So it's all free and available online. Everything is linked there. Uh, for the one source that's not free, COPPA, uh, this is straight from ProQuest. So in addition to getting the actual text itself, you have the proper attribution um, via ProQuest. So they're able to then force it out. Um, typically, I don't like to provide the MLA or the citation because they have to, you know, for their reading analysis assignments, they have to create the citation themselves and they get graded on that, but they have all the materials for the proper attribution so that they know where that is coming from. Um, and that's uploaded as a free PDF there. All right, uh, so I talked about all of the different um, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, and 4.4. Thank you so much for your consideration and time. I hope you enjoyed my application and my course. Take care.